Man, it is a beautiful day out today. My perfect time of the day, sun is setting, and we got some nice sneaks here to review. So if you're new here, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you be notified every time your boy drops a new banger. And we got ourselves another pair of Air Jordan 1s. That's what we specialize in this channel, it seems. It's become my new favorite Jordan. So let's go ahead and get into these bad boys. Let me set you up now about these shoes now i wanted these for a minute it's a clean classic colorway easy to rock and unfortunately for me i was not back into the sneaker game when they had released originally so i did not have an opportunity to cop them for retail so the only option for me at the time was resale and i don't know if you've seen the prices of the shadow 1.0s but they are up over 500 dollars these days and i'm not spending that much money for a shoe that I plan on putting straight to foot. So before we get into it, you know I gotta hit you with that disclaimer. I do not condone the authorized selling or reselling of UAE fake rep or whatever you wanna call it type shoes. And if you decide to get shoes like this, remember you're always doing it at your own risk. Now, with that being said, let's waste no more time. Flip this lid, take our initial look at these here. All right. Hey, this even got the little red stamp. <laughs> not that I even care because no one's gonna see this box except for me and you. Oh, we got ourselves the Air Jordan 1 Shadow. Yes, sir. Finally got these things in hand. And these will probably be one of my most worn shoes this winter, no doubt. Because my most worn shoe up to date during the winter time has been the Black Yin Yangs. And they're currently looking a little bit uh, bad let's be honest they're, they're looking pretty dogged out and bad so um, this comes right on time let's go ahead and pull these bad boys out take a closer look at them the air jordan one shadow now you have to call it the shadow 1.0 because the 2.0 came out but yeah these are nice these are very very nice very clean and uh, you know how we do. Let's take a close look at that quality of the shoe itself. We're going to go way in, way in. And they do not disappoint me. Unlike the retail pairs, if y'all saw the review on my uh, main channel this weekend, I reviewed a pair of those um, Obsidian 13s, and they had crazy glue stains. And I told you, I wasn't used to that. <laughs> After reviewing all the shoes in this channel, you know, it's got me spoiled to looking at nice, clean shoes. Look at the shape of that, guys. You see that? Remember that used to be an issue? The hourglass figure in the back? That's not even an issue anymore. Remember when like the quality of the shoe used to be an issue? The shape of the toe box used to be an issue? Look, look at the shape of that. Look at this shoe. Look at the shape of this shoe. I mean, it's been so many years since this shoe came out. Just like I said, with the Air Jordan 1, um, Travis Scott Lowe's, your OG brown ones, it's been enough time where they've perfected shoes like this. Shoes like this, the Shadow 1.0s, the Bread 1.0s, Shattered Backboards, even like shoes like the Court Purples and Pine Greens. Those shoes have been out for so many years that like I'd say damn near identical replica. The all black tongue with the tag in gray, all black guts, which is one of the reasons I love to rock these so much. I don't have to worry about them getting dirty around them. Around the collar here, the leather is really nice leather. It's nice and soft. My pair here, I would say, has like a medium tumble on it. It's not the crazy, crazy tumble. Not bad at all. Ugh, feels really good. Now let's take the insert out so we can squeeze that toe box. Let's get it in the sun here. Let's see. Ugh, yeah, that's, that's gonna wear good. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm gonna beat you up this winter. <laughs> you just don't know it yet. It does come with an extra set of shoelaces. We got the gray ones there, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and rock it out with the black. That's it, I don't need the gray. I need these shoes to go with as much stuff as possible because they're gonna be my dailies. You know the shoes that you put on your step, you know, the bottom of your step, or the ones by your door. Uh, yeah, these are gonna be it. Now, would you do that to a pair of shoes that you're gonna pay five, $600 for? No, no. No, you're not gonna wanna beat them up, but you will beat these up. I'm sorry to do this to you, Mr. Shadow, but hey, I know what you want. You wanna be worn. You wanna be rocked hard. 
and I'm not gonna let you down. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other shoe. Is that a little oil from my hands? Okay, we have no flaws on here. I don't expect any issues with it. Look, hourglass, after this many years, you know, they perfected them. So um, I'm gonna definitely enjoy it. Again, I wanna thank the, uh, the gifter for sending these out. I'll go ahead and flash their info up on the screen there. And uh, yeah, they sent me out a really clean pair of shoes that I'm gonna definitely enjoy and I appreciate it. You know what? I didn't even show you guys the box. And we got uh, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color is black, medium, gray, and white. Oh yeah, I remember back when they used to cost $160. And this is the old style tag, of course. And it is my personal size, 10 and a half. I don't even think I need to do it on foot. I mean, you guys have seen these shoes. They, you know how they look. They look great. I mean, but I'll go ahead and do it on foot just because I know you're expecting it. So we'll go ahead and end this video off with it on foot. And, uh, you know, if you don't mind hitting that like button, I appreciate it. If you want to drop a comment down below, tell me what you think about these bad boys. And, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to read and respond. All right. Until next time, guys, I'm out of this joint with Air Jordan 1 Shadows. Finally the 1.0s. Yes, sir.